Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Ned from Ned's Tech, but today I want to be checking out this Thermaltake Smart Series Power Supply. Smart 500 watts. Now, why would I be making a video about this? Okay, okay so I'm going through a lot of budget builds right now, and this unit is the cheapest I can find on Amazon. Actually, this is like the Amazon's choice, and it seemed to be the lowest price. I bet I could find lower if I was really digging, but honestly, uh, I believe this was 60 Canadian ruples. It's probably like 40 American dollars and I want to test it out. I want to see one of the stupidest ideas you could have is to buy a super cheap power supply because everything will just go to hell if you get a bad one and if something bad happens. Now I took a look at the reviews and there was like a maybe 3% of people that said that they were having a hard time with it or it, it or give it a one star review I should say and within those one star reviews there were a few people that said it destroyed their entire computer and man once again when a power supply goes it will fry everything that you have and that is freaking unconscionable because usually when hardware fails it just itself fails these days anyways but if this thing fails man it it doesn't just crap the bed it craps the whole house and then the house burns down and then the property around it gets divided by zero and there's like nothing left and not only is it like there's a hole there but there's less than zero because it takes your memories and your dreams and your pictures and stuff with it don't get a cheap hard drive now that being said i was really curious because this is thermal take now i've never used thermal take before knowingly but at the same time i see thermal take Takes name all over a lot of stuff. Linus Tech Tips, uh, they advertise through Linux. Uh, tech tips and I don't think that they would let uh, subpar people advertise with them. I'm going to give this thing a test. I want to see how well it does. If you're doing a budget PC, odds are you're going to be taking a look at this. So I'm going to be taking a PC. I'm going to be putting it through a stress test and we will see just how well it puts up over the course of time. Is it going to fry everything that I have and I love? Um, there's only one way to find out. So once again, Putting this unit into a PC, going to be giving her some long stress tests. We'll see how she does. Now here's what the unit looks like inside of a computer. I really meant to get a good look at it and do a review of it before I got it into a system, but I had a really bad night. One of those nights where the only thing that would make me happy was to build a computer. I'm sure some of you guys can uh, feel me there. Anyways, legitimately this thing has so many freaking inputs that I can't imagine anything else I would want. I really like the way that uh, they wrap everything up in that coating. You look over at the other side. I can't, I, everything, this has everything that I could imagine wanting and more, so much more that I gotta tuck it in under there. But seriously, I'm really pleased with how many connectors that we get with this unit. All right, so a bunch of time has passed. I put this thing under increased load. As you can see here, I got three new RGB fans on and I got the RGB lights. The lights, of course, don't take up a whole lot of energy, but the fans surely do. Next up, I put in a Quattro K4000 card because it took extra power. Just put extra load on this thing. And then next up, I threw her into the Bitcoin mining mines, or should I say, the Monero mining mines. Now, mining Monero is definitely a good stress test for this power supply because mining anything will take all of uh, the power because your system's taken all of the processors 100% going. So what I did is I was mining Monero for as long as I could. I wanted to see if this power supply would drop, if it would do anything, if it would fry my motherboard. Um, but uh, it did not. So here she is in all of her infinite glory. You can see that we got the 500 watt thermal take power supply at the bottom of there. We got all of the RGB lights. She is lit up like a Christmas tree, folks. Got the happy magical narwhal in there. And we're mining Monero right now with the uh, internal Xeon and the, geez, what do we got? Yeah, the K600 video card. So I'd like to say that that's a, a lot of power being pulled down. And if we come up here, and see the other two the one on the right that's napa and she's uh, also mining the one on the left when she's on she's a noisy one but she's on the world community grid and here we can see we are mining the nice hash we are getting the internet tendies that's right so i think this thing's pretty good 
It should be said that this uh, stress test has been going on over the course of three weeks. One week light test and uh, two weeks hard test. But definitely would say it's worth the money and I would take a look at it. The thermal take power supply, guys. Available on Amazon. That's it for me, folks. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. As always, folks, take care of each other, will you?